asteroid warning. Centaurs from Neptune and Jupiter could destroy Earth. These asteroids trapped in the orbits of Jupiter and Neptune pose a direct threat to life on Earth because of their uh, possible Earth impact and uh, could end up destroying our planet, scientists warn. This is by Sean Martin out of Express UK. We're also going to read other articles so we can forget about asteroids because we have hundreds of 60 mile wide comets that could wipe out life on Earth and that could be a better threat, a bigger threat than uh, anything else. Now, as an asteroid, a new type known as cent centaurs, as the ancient centaurs that were half man, half horse, these are named after these centaurs, could one day destroy life on Earth, perhaps create a new life from form altogether. Centaurs are rocky bodies found in the solar system, which follow the orbits of giant planets such as Jupiter and Neptune. And scientists believe they originated from beyond the orbit of Neptune and traveled inwards towards the star. They rummage around solar system for millions of years and were responsible for perhaps the late heavy bombardment from about 3.8 billion years ago when asteroids rained down on Earth. And now researchers warn a similar fate could perhaps find our planet once again in the future, which could destroy life as we know it. Astrophysicist Rudolf Dvorak from the University of Vienna said such events could have a direct impact on life by either destroying Earth or creating conductive conditions, that is hydrothermal activity, for new life to form. Fellow astrophysicists from the same university, Mattia Galeazzo, said, we also estimate the possible crater sizes. Centaurs can become also active comets because of the presence of water on a good number of them. Thus, we also compute the approximate amount of water released to the Earth which is comparable to the amount of water present on the Adriatic Sea. We also found sub-regions of the centaurs that were possible impactors originate from. The experts estimate that these craters caused by the centaurs could be hundreds of kilometers in diameter. But the presently known batch of centaurs would likely cause a crater about 10 kilometers in diameter. And to put that into perspective, the Chicxulub crater in the Yucatan Peninsula off Mexico, which resulted from the asteroid which wiped out the dinosaurs, is about 150 kilometers in diameter. This would mean any current known centaur would likely not be able to destroy Earth, but does not mean that they are not out there. But the research could help understand the early formation of the solar system and how life came to be on our planet, and the scientists state in the, uh, the report published on uh, monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, centaurs can bring water. Dr. Galeazzo adds, our work also provides a framework for better understanding past events and how they might have altered life on Earth and other terrestrial planets. So NASA has discovered these and uh, what is the true nature of these centaurs? They're small celestial bodies found between the orbits of Jupiter and Neptune. The true nature has been a great mystery to astrophysicists, but NASA's WISE telescope may finally have determined that they are comets. The true nature of centaurs have long been a puzzle to astronomers, and the debate has largely centered around whether they are comets traveling towards the sun from afar or if they're asteroids that have been flung out from the inner solar system. NASA has developed this Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, WISE for short, to investigate the objects, and the conclusion is that the objects originate from comets. Quote, just like the mythical creatures, the centaurs, objects seem to have a double life, end quote, said James Bauer from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He adds, our data, points to a cometary origin for most of the objects, suggesting they're coming from deeper out in the solar system. The study of these objects was the most comprehensive analysis of centaurs and their more distant cousins scattered disk objects to date. And Neowise, the asteroid hunting part of WISE, analyzed 52 objects, whereof 15 were new discoveries. The NASA scientists were able to distinguish the objects as comets by looking at their color. 
The reddish hue usually indicates an asteroid. Meanwhile, since comets usually have a soot-like covering to their icy bodies, they will appear darker. Tommy Grav, co-author of the study from the Planetary Science Institute in Arizona, says, Comet surfaces tend to be more like a charcoal, while asteroids are usually shinier than the moon. Roughly two-thirds of the centaurs seem to be comets, while the rest may have come from our asteroid field. But regardless, the centaurs won't remain in their orbits forever. Their orbits are unstable, and ultimately the gravitational effects of the gas giants will either fling them deeper into space or closer to the sun. In fact, some of the centaurs may one day return to being comets. Now, we can forget about asteroids because hundreds of 60-mile comets, 60 comets could wipe out life, and they're a bigger threat. These are thousands of rogue comets up to 160 miles long, and they pose grave threat to life on Earth, as scientists have warned us. And this is, again, another article unexpressed by John Austin. The centaurs can travel about 150 miles each hour and are much further out than the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. But if one hit the Earth of even the smallest size, it's unlikely much could survive the impact, which would turn the planet into a fireball. Much research has been taking place into locating as many near-Earth asteroids, which vary from tens of meters to many miles, and they still seem to find where 90% of them are. But little has been done to plan for the threat of the centaurs, the research team claimed. The research was published at the Royal Astronomic Society Journal of Astronomy and Geophysics. Professor Bill Napier, co-author of the report from the University of Buckingham, said, in the last three decades, we have investigated, invested a lot of effort in tracking and analyzing the risk of a collision between the Earth and an asteroid. Our work suggests we need to look beyond our immediate neighborhood too, and look out beyond the orbit of Jupiter to find centaurs. If we are right, then these distant comets could be a serious hazard, and it's time to understand them better. If a centaur deviated towards the Earth's atmosphere, it would be expected to break up, showering the planet with huge chunks of rock and ice that could each devastate a continent and send tsunamis across the seas. A 10-mile comet or asteroid which struck the Yukon Peninsula uh, the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico 65 million years ago is thought to have wiped out most of the dinosaurs. So if a 60-mile comet hits us, it is unlikely anything could survive. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.